with the new Omegaverse BL anime, I decided to explain what the Omegaverse is, or the O slash B slash O, the OBO universe. So, you know, you all know the basics. Cause first, we draw men kissing, then we draw men fucking, and finally, as the legendary comment says, we draw them giving birth. Hello everyone, Ren here, or alias. And what is the Omega Reverse? It's very simple. It's a world where people are divided into three categories. It's usually in Yaoi and Yuri works, because, you know, that's the whole point. Uh, the three categories are the Alphas, the Betas, and the Omegas. The gender of the person uh, does not matter, like, it can be male or female. Also, when I was researching this, a bunch of uh, werewolf stuff popped up. Uh, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm talking about the BL Omegaverse. I don't know what the other thing is. Now let's start with the first category, the Alpha. They're exactly what you're thinking. <laughs> They're usually dominating, larger and confident, even physically larger or maybe larger uh, socially standing, like a noble or a CEO. Of course, the story may vary, because, you know, if every Omegaverse story was the same, then it would get boring. They also have heat cycles and stuff like that. And because of all those traits, you know, they're perceived as the best human beings. Next, we got the betas. In Omegaverse, the betas are nothing. <laughs> Not as in worthless, they're just your average person. That's right, after all these years, you are the beta. They don't have heat cycles or anything special like that. No pheromones, nothing. And finally, we got the omegas. They're soft, they're submissive, or they're small. You know, what you think a beta would be in like, our world. In some mangas, they're treated bad, like, sold as sex slaves and stuff like that, because of how they act. Because they're also unconfident and very, very submissive. They also have heat cycles and they also secrete pheromones. The uh, one thing that is very important to the Omegaverse, uh, Omegas can get pregnant. And that is the basics of the whole Omegaverse, like the three categories. There's Omegaverses with like Delta, Sadas, uh, Sigmas, you know, stuff like that. I'm not gonna go into it because it's not the main categories. And then we move on to the interactions between the groups. Uh, in some Omegaverses, uh, Alphas need to bite down on an Omega for them to be able to get pregnant <laughs> or to establish a bond. <laughs> it's not every Omegaverse anime though. It's only like if the author chooses to have that. Uh, both Alphas and Omega secrete pheromones to attract each other. So an Alpha would secrete pheromones to attract an Omega, and an Omega would do the vice versa. You know, like uh, animals. Uh, and I've seen mangas where an Omega cannot get pregnant unless they're bitten by an Alpha, then they grow like a womb. If the sex is reversed, where it's uh, a female, then the, uh, the of course, females can't get pregnant, so the female Alpha grows a dick <laughs> to impregnate the Omega female. It's a whole bunch of combinations that happen like that. Uh, it just involves a same-sex couple being able to get pregnant. Then I've also read some uh, some stuff where an alpha bites a beta and they become an Omega, or an alpha bites another alpha, and then the one that's bitten becomes an Omega, or an Omega is two Omega, they actually turn other people Omega, you know. The world's your oyster here. Whatever your imagination can cook, you can do it. That has been the absolute very basics of the Omegaverse. This has been all. Enjoy your OBO or Omegaverse fanfics now with this info. I hope you've been enjoying Tadaima Okaeri, which is the current most popular BL, and it's an Omegaverse BL, so hell yeah. Maybe I'll review it once some time passes and everybody gets the chance to see it. Well. This has been all. This has been Ren, or Alias. Bye-bye.